Hello Capricorns! Welcome! This is your November 2021 general reading. You're watching Energy and Star Sign readings with myself, Thomas Janak. This month we're having a slightly different format. Normally I do one video per week that includes all star signs. Um, and in November I just thought, let's do things differently. Let's record 12 videos, one for each star sign and give the star sign a bit a bit more time which means look a, look a little deeper into the star signs and so you know it came to me and normally when things come to me um i i don't argue right i i work for spirit and this is all spirit led and i do believe that whatever comes in i should probably then also do and that just came to me so i've been doing this or i'm doing this for this month, how this will work here, dear Capricorns, is that I will divide the reading into certain areas. Firstly, we will look at the energy for the month of November for your star sign Capricorn. <clears throat> See what the guides are saying to you, you should look at um, this month. And then we go into your emotional well being or into your emotions. That could well be that. Um, either what needs to go, what sits here, and maybe there's love coming in. Who knows? We'll have to wait and see. And that's before we then go into the last area, <clears throat> excuse me, which is opportunities, which has to do with um, what sustains you financially, if that makes sense. So that's opportunities sort of more in a um, work scenario. And if you're self-employed, sometimes they, they, they go off on a tangent, if that makes sense. But ultimately, Capricorns. Let's have a look at what the guides are advising you on for the month of November. Capricorns, you have the bull, the seahorse and the eagle. The one in the middle is the seahorse and that's the one we will have a look at a little bit more closely. Does that make sense? Um, so what the guides are saying to you in or for the month of November is a couple of things. The seahorse, the one that is the most important in for this part of the reading, is literally the animal that shows that 90% of these little guys don't make it in captivity, if that makes sense, right? If there is no harmony in the life of a seahorse, they become super stressed and oftentimes they simply do not last, if that makes sense. And yet the seahorse is all about strength. <laughs> this will be, make more sense if we actually look at the incoming energy, then go via the seahorse to the outgoing energy. Your incoming energy is the bull. And what that basically means, Capricorns, is for you in November to make sure that your personal space of all things feels safe. It is your task for November to really look at what's going on, how stressed out are you, how busy are you, who is on your on your tail all, all the time, who is asking you to do X, Y and Z, who doesn't allow you to properly breathe, who doesn't allow you um, to just whoa, wind down a little. All these things are for you to reflect upon in November and then make sure your territory is safe. So you very likely need to speak up if that makes sense, right? Because your, in your, your, your middle energy here is the seahorse telling you that you are beginning to be, or maybe you are already, to be really vulnerable. And also that's what, what I'm getting. I'm getting anxiety as a topic. Um, so you're also getting anxious and all the guides are saying is while this is not time to stop the press and tell people to F off, this is all about looking at what you um, ought to change to explain to people or show people that your, your kindness has limits. That's really, really important. Okay. And then the outgoing energy is the eagle which is literally the animal of illumination, of creativity, of, um, and also of exploration. 
right? So what they're saying to you is, if you do this, if you realize that you're already a bit vulnerable here because there's just too much going on and therefore you tell people off a little, remember, you decide who is within your web of life <coughs> takes up what space and how much space they take up. Um, once you actually slow down a little and allow yourself um, yeah, to not be... Um, well, it's, it's, it's probably the wrong word, but I'm using it anyway because that's how, how, how I hear it. Um, once you stop allowing people to use you, um, which doesn't make them bad people, you know, if you cook for me five times a week, I let you. I just become an opportunist. But there is an element of, of, of being used here. And um, once you let that go and once you say, like, you know what, stop or maybe even, or just slow down here and assess on what's going on that just doesn't allow you to wind down enough and to recharge your battery, you then start illuminating your path again. Because sometimes, and this is what I'm getting here as well, since we're talking about illumination, it's because there's so much going on that you're focusing on 10,000 other things, so you can't even focus on where it is you want to go. And obviously, it is important um, to see where you are going, right? So that was the incoming, so to speak, energy for the months of November. Now we're going into your emotional uh, area. See what we got. You have the grey squirrel, the beaver, the grey fox and the snowy owl. So, ultimately what the guides are saying to you is with regards to your emotions, you may have too many thoughts about the topic. You also may have preconceived notions that simply do not work. It feels to me, energetically speaking, that maybe some of you Capricorns haven't quite healed from a relationship you were in or which is also quite normal. Um, we all bring luggage and baggage to relationships and part of a relationship is to actually make sure if we can lighten the load, how we maybe we can, you know, unpack some of that stuff and just throw away what is no longer helpful, if that makes sense. So it feels to me that there's old stuff here um, that may be difficult for you to create a scenario in which you can grow, if that makes sense, right? See, you have the beaver. The beaver is the builder of bridges. Therefore, in a relationship, one of the things that Capricorns do naturally is to be supportive. But support has to go both ways, has to go two ways. Otherwise, it becomes a one-sided affair, which is not what you want. So. You have the grey fox next. The grey fox is saying to you, you an old soul. And this sounds a bit weird because it sounds like the guides are telling you what to do. They're not. This is all just guidance. Take it or leave it. But because you have the grey fox, you ought to realize that you are an old soul. And therefore, there is a lot of stuff you have already dealt with in your life. And you don't necessarily... Again, this is just the way the guides talk. You don't necessarily need someone who brings shit to a relationship that you have dealt with years ago. Okay, now that sounds a bit harsh um, because obviously you are supportive, but your relationship, and should you be single and you look for one, then ask for an energy that is where you are, if that makes sense. Someone who has who idles as high as you do, and if you are actually aspiring for someone that you may consider better than what you've had, then you have to first let go of, of attracting these types, if that makes sense, right? So um, there is probably some work that you also uh, must do for yourself to actually hire your energy, if that makes sense, because ultimately your outgoing energy for the area of emotions is the snowy owl. And the snowy owl lives in the Arctic. In the Arctic, 
opportunities are not a given and it is much harder to survive there than it is elsewhere <clears throat> and this is all about emotions the, the way I, the guides make me feel this is all about <coughs> possibly or possible relationships if you are in a relationship what they're saying is if you are because you have the snowy owl that's the outgoing energy um you may already lose some proper ground um to be to be yourself so ultimately because you are the builder of bridges and an old soul um it maybe is time to really start reflecting on on where you're at and also what is it you truly want right and then either have a proper conversation with your your uh, significant other if that makes sense you know to bring about change or manifest anew okay now let's have a look at your opportunities with regards to finances and you know sort of more what 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 pays your bills if that makes sense very interesting <laughs> okay we're looking at opportunities and this is more uh, about you know work and kind of stuff and yet i get something very specific which doesn't even fit that criteria so i tell you what i got and then i'll tell you why it doesn't fit what's going on here <laughs> we have the divine rogue the totem and the otter <sighs> okay the divine rogue is basically saying to you which is why i think it just doesn't quite fit that scenario of of work um anything you do do with tongue in cheek right and the reason why i got a bit like what's this <laughs> it's because you have the totem as a symbol as your most important symbol for this area so here's what i'm getting the totem literally is a symbol that denotes family right not necessarily friendship but family yes family doesn't always have to be flesh and blood so i'm giving you the two scenarios that that that, that i can deduct from this uh, one is that this is redirected really towards people who are working with family members right or are about which is nothing that i'm getting are about to work with with um family members should you be a person that really is contemplating on combining businesses or working with a family member uh, on, on something if you do this you're in there for the long haul this doesn't the they're doing this which means it's 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 intertwined if that makes sense entangled is the word and it's very difficult to untangle once this has started because you have the otter as the outgoing energy now otters hold hands so that they don't drift off from one another since this is about work and finances so this might not necessarily be about work but maybe about finances maybe there's a there's a heritage that needs to be divided among you guys um and so you might not all be on the same hem sheet right and yet because totem energy is in the middle right um the the real task for you is to not fall out and to not say i'm going to get my money and then you can all piss off right so make sure you understand that all these things that are happening in with regards to family and finances are all tests within tests as well and um what the the real test apparently is is for you not to um fall out with family members the other scenario is obviously leaving a legacy um and passing things on because that's the other energy that i'm getting here <clears throat> and what i'm getting is because you have the divine rogue which means you do things tongue-in-cheek the way you sort of feel them <laughs> how you live your life whether or not you're a good person and maybe even a good teacher to your kids is the only thing that matters what i'm getting is it does not matter to leave, to leave a legacy 
legacy of some sort. Not important, one bit. Because you have the totem as the outgoing energy, you know, something that others can hold on to, don't try to work your socks off so that someone somewhere has an heritage. Don't do what you feel, oh, you know, maybe maybe my kids can, can follow into my, in my footsteps, that, that kind of scenario. Um, do the work that really makes you happy. It doesn't matter. That's what I'm getting from the guides. It doesn't matter one bit if your family members, your, your children, your, even your partner, it doesn't matter if they get what it is you're doing. As long as it makes you happy. Because that's how you therefore also manifest opportunities. By saying like, yeah, this fulfills me. When you are fulfilled, energies find you. Therefore, opportunities find you. Please don't make your work life or the chances and the choices you make in here about someone else or about anyone else. This is your life. Live it the way you want. Okie dokie, Capricorns. That's all I got time for. See you next month. Bye-bye.